Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Tracer. Let's come to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. We're going to be talking about uh, Dogecoin, Dogecoin, and more Dogecoin, guys. Top Dogecoin breaking news, top Dogecoin news, top Dogecoin analysis, and top Dogecoin everything. And we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, Elon Musk recently had a, his a new biography that is coming out. And in his biography, he does hint about the future the future of Dogecoin and how the huge integration into Twitter, AKX, is going to be life-changing for Dogecoin and what his plans are, what his plans are to create this huge, huge, absolutely huge social, social uh, app, uh, not unlike WeChat in uh, China. Uh, remember, now this is financial advice. I hope you understand that. Please go down there and smash the freaking likes like crazy. So in case you guys do not know, WeChat in China is this huge social application out there and it's a social application it's a digital wallet uh, it's a, you know uh, in China you can go to the local convenience store and use your WeChat wallet to buy stuff using QR code all that kind of stuff so it's kind of like the be all end all of social financial banking app it just encompasses everything and you know Elon Musk's vision quite frankly, is to do exactly the same freaking thing, uh, but on a global scale. Now, remember, WeChat is really just kind of, you know, limited and defined for, for the Chinese-speaking world, okay? So what Elon Musk wants to do is he wants to have Twitter, aka X, uh, do the same thing, but on a more global, global scale. And he definitely, definitely uh, is earmarking actually earmarking that Dogecoin will be part of that. Absolutely, you know, we have, we talked about Dogecoin and uh, Elon Musk um, transmitter licenses. We all know that's happening. And this is part and, and a part of the beginning of the forefront of the culmination of the integration of cryptocurrency into his platform. So that's what's going on. Uh, so let's let's jump in the markets and then we'll, deep, we'll go deeper, deeper down the crypto rabbit hole with the OG and talk more and more about what's going on with this whole new Elon Musk biography out there where he starts to talk about Dogecoin and his future plans for Dogecoin and what that means to you and me out there. And you know, we're gonna be talking about some price predictions, we're gonna be talking about Dogecoin chart and much, much more guys. So let's jump into it. I'm moving slow. I hurt my back yesterday. I don't know what I did. I'm like, a, I feel like 100 years old right now because I, I, I freaking decimated my back out there. So uh, I went to the doctor yesterday got some pain meds. Uh, I'm going to be going again to the doctor today if this thing doesn't clear up because it hurts like a mother out there. Uh, you know, it's like, you know, pain in the lower back, go shooting down to my uh, leg. It hurts. It hurts like a mother out there. So what are we seeing right now in terms of the whole crypto markets? We are seeing that uh, most of the crypto market is down. You can see, you can see a sea of red out there. So hopefully you guys can see a sea of red out there. I, I'm, I'm not too concerned out there. I'm still dollar cost averaging. Also, we're gonna be talking about what is the upside for Dogecoin in 2025, 2024. So we're seeing, uh, we're seeing uh, Bitcoin is right now sub $26,000 to 20, 25,780 and some change. We're seeing uh, Ethereum is at uh, 1,600 bucks. It's also down about, Oh, everything's down pretty close to one percent. We're seeing BNB is uh, neutral out there. Uh, let's 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 focus in on Doge here. Doge, my Doge, my Doge is down half percent at zero six two six two nine, so zero six three cents out there. So that's what that's going on. We're seeing that most of the most of the cryptocurrency is down. I, I'm not too concerned about it, but you know, from my perspective, guys and gals, the kind of thing that I'm kind of looking at right now is I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm kind of looking at uh, Dogecoin. From this perspective as you guys as you guys can see here we have the dogecoin chart right now as i said we're trading around about 06307 out there and you can see that dogecoin has kind of been trending down trending 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 down since the snl days you know when when uh, doge hit 71 cents so i still think and a lot of people still think that this is an absolutely absolutely great great area to accumulate for doge I still believe it's a great area to accumulate for Doge. I still think there's more upside, and we'll we'll see that we'll see that you know Dogecoin has these large uh, down trending cycles. You know it's dropped almost like 87 percent since its all time highs. You know nitpick, don't get me on the math, okay? But it, it's dropped about 87 90 percent. I still believe that as we get closer and closer to the halving, we are going to see a parabolic rise. 
Now, we have a huge, huge resistance around about 10 cents. 10 cents area is some huge resistance followed by 16 cents. So I think those are the huge resistance marks that Dogecoin will overcome, and I believe they will overcome. I absolutely believe they'll overcome. I still think there's a lot of catalysts out there for Dogecoin, a lot of positive catalysts. You know, we're still earmarking the Dogecoin X to the moon mission, which is gonna be happening, you know, 15th to 20th of November. We all know that, we all know that. So that's coming. Uh, you know, and the other thing that, the other thing that is kind of, uh, kind of amazing out there is that, Elon Musk is about to come out with this whole biography and Musk funded Dogecoin mold blockchain social media biography details. So basically he's got this whole biography that's coming out and he really talks about, you know, Dogecoin, how the integration is going to happen and he's really kind of talking up about what he sees as the future, what he sees as the absolute future for Dogecoin. And I think, I, I, I think it's absolutely phenomenal that you know Elon Musk out there he believes in the dogecoin and you know also if if you go on the streets and you walk around the streets and you talk about well do you know anything about crypto most people they know bitcoin all the all all the you know the normies the normal people they know about they absolutely know about uh, bitcoin but the second most recognized and understood and talked about cryptocurrency is dogecoin a lot of people love the dogecoin a lot of people talk about the dogecoin you know the 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 normies the norms or the normal people i'd call them normies the normal people absolutely absolutely know about dogecoin so we can see that dogecoin is still in the forefront of people's minds and when we see when next time we see the whole lift off because of the bitcoin having that's going to be happening in 2024 we're absolutely going to see that you know dogecoin is just going to like just go crazy and we're going to see ourselves blast past 10 cents blast past 16 cents and we're going to go to infinity and beyond absolutely we're going to get there so from my perspective uh you know if if, if you want to make uh if you want to make money in crypto i still think that uh, bitcoin bitcoin is absolutely absolutely a huge huge pickup i think dogecoin is a good pickup ethereum is a good pickup and there's lots of the lots lots of really good stuff out there guys so it's actually mind-blowing how good crypto is right now and you know how good the dogecoin is is going to be so looks like binance is in uh, more trouble looks like we see more executives quit uh, out of binance uh you know because of all the regulatory stuff that's going on with the sec dow jones going after binance we're seeing more and more uh executives quit a lot of people are starting to you know a lot of people are starting to get like whoa whoa is this going to be is this going to be like the final straw that broke the camel back camel's back when it comes to binance uh out there i mean i don't know i can't really i mean i can't tell you what's going to happen with binance but you know what i would be doing uh you know it's better to be it's better to be it's better to be cautious than foolish right uh that is why uh if you have your if you have a lot of your crypto on centralized exchanges uh, you know, a word, a word of caution, cautionary tale, is I would definitely, I would definitely get it off there. Uh, I move it to a hardware wallet. My Linky Winky's down there. Check it out. Uh, get a Nano Ledger out there. It doesn't cost you more, but it definitely helps. Uh, I, I get a little bit of a, a tickle on there, so that, that helps. But definitely, you want to, you know, you want to secure yourself. Uh, you know, we we did have the Luna crash. We had the Celsius stuff. We had three hours capital, and this is not going to be this is not going to be the end of it. Uh, this, there could be more contagion happening um, out there. Uh, ETF wise, uh, as you guys know, BlackRock ETF has been delayed again. Uh, 45 days. Uh, Gary's gonna have to review that and see what's going on. Maybe they'll pass it. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll, you know, delay again. You know what Gary's like. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I think uh, I think things are just gonna be fine. We will get that inevitable. I mean, I, I really think that uh, you know. September is going to be not much of a baller, a baller, uh, you know, stratosphere rise for crypto. I think I, I think October, you know, October will do very well. I think crypto will come back up. I think we'll see, you know, thirty thousand dollar Bitcoin. I think we will see uh, Dogecoin get itself above seven cents between trading between seven and eight cents. You know, that's what I, kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, you know, if we have the the Elon Musk uh, go nuts and uh, declare uh, Dogecoin as the uh, currency of the Twitter, aka X, 
it's going to moonshot, guys. Uh, we have the Doge X coming, like I said earlier uh, in the video. If that happens, it absolutely happens. That's also going to be great because we've been we've been waiting a freaking long time for that. Um, so if that happens, that's going to definitely help the Doge. But definitely, 2024. That's a time when things are going to get really exciting, exciting again with crypto. I mean, crypto has kind of been in the doldrums for for like two years now. <laughs> doldrums, boring. Uh, but you know. I'm still here. I'm still. I'm still slogging away. So what have I got planned today? So uh, my back hurts like a mother out there. Uh, I'm going off the grind. A couple minutes uh, out there. I'm heading off to uh, Saigon for two days out there. So if anybody's in Saigon, DM me on uh, Twitter, AKX. We'll, we'll get get together for coffee. I'll be out there. Uh, so guys, I just want to say peace and blessings to all of you out there. Uh, be fruitful. Be happy. Be peaceful. Be freaking peaceful out there. And, you know, try to love each other and spread some of the good vibes. Only the OG Ric Flair can bring it to you like I bring it to you. So, guys, don't forget, once again, go down there, smash the likes, show some lovey love out there. Don't fret. Don't worry. Remember, never invest more than you're willing to lose. Remember, crypto can be like crazy out there, guys. But, you know, like I said, patience. It's time in the market. Patience, patience, patience. Don't be like a wild swing trader. Go nuts out there. Everyone's, you're going to lose your shirt if you do that. So I'll see you in the freaking next one. Peace out.